2.7 supports a new change detection algorithm called the land trender. The goal is to extract information on how a feature in the landscape has changed due to disturbances, such as logging, fire, insects, and so on. The algorithm takes time series imagery as input, performs temporal segmentation using a band or a spectral index, and builds an analysis model, which we call the change analysis raster where each fitted segment is a change with a start date, an ending date, and a duration, and a change magnitude. So from this change analysis raster, we can extract information and create disturbance and recovery maps, as well as time series classification. Two GP tools are used to support this workflow. Uh, a new analytics change using land trender tool and an enhanced detect change using change analysis rust. Next, I'll show how this new capability can be used in a real world application. Western Cascade Forest in Oregon State is a large commercial timber production area. I want to understand the spatial and the temporal patterns of the timber harvest. The input data is a Landsat imagery of uh, summer season from 1984 to 2020. And I created an NBR layer, normalized burn ratio index layer as input because it is good in detecting forest disturbances. Um, I bring up the new analysis change using land trender tool, define the input and output, Define the parameters for temporal segmentation, such as the number of segments, and so on, and also the parameter for model fitting. I'll just use default. The result of the tool, which I had saved earlier, is a change analysis raster, multi dimensional multi band containing model coefficients. Bring up the temporal profile to explore the changes. And I choose fitted NBR value band. From the temporal profile chart at this location, we see an abrupt decrease in NBR value. It is a logging disturbance, started in 1986, took two years, and then entered a slow recovery stage. From this change analysis raster, I can create many types of analytical maps. First, I'll create a disturbance map bring up the detect change tool, which has been enhanced to support this workflow. For disturbance, I choose decrease for change direction, choose the earliest date for type, and set duration to be four years to extract abrupt decreases, and also set a larger decrease magnitude so that the subtle changes can be filtered out and run the tool. Turn off the unused layer. This is the output, a disturbance map where each pixel is the date when disturbance started. Pixel in darker color start in the early years, and the lighter color happened in the recent years, as you can see in the identify window. With a darker background, the harvest pattern stands out. Harvest started from the center of the region and expanded out along the roads. The regular square cut pattern is due to forest protection. We see it clearly by overlaying the forest management layer. On right, the dark red disturbances within the protected land happened in early years when protection has not been regulated yet. However, on the left side in the state park, we see a recent disturbance. It started in 2017. By looking at the images, we found out it's not illegal logging, but an insect disturbance, and still in the recovery stage. Second, using the same detection tool with the different filtering parameter, I created a recovery map. The value is the duration, number of years taken from disturbance land regrow into the forest. At last, I use classification tools I classified the change analysis raster and created a classified time series map of four classes, forest, disturbance, recovery, and slow recovery. 
the tool does a good job on classifying these categories. I then used the new summarized categorical raster tool and created a summary table and the chart the forest changes through time. So this ends my demo of uh, analyzing the pattern of forest disturbances and recoveries using the new tools. Mm -hmm.